Have you ever pondered how physicians provide support to patients whose heart and lungs are unable to function efficiently on their own? There's a technique in the medical field known as ECMO or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation that does this very thing. Intriguing, isn't it? ECMO is essentially a life support mechanism. It offers both cardiac and respiratory support to individuals whose heart and lungs are struggling to perform their duties effectively. This technique is commonly used in severe cases such as acute respiratory or cardiac failure or during certain surgical procedures. So, how does ECMO work? Well, it's quite fascinating. ECMO can oxygenate blood and eliminate carbon dioxide, acting as an external set of lungs. It can also provide circulatory support by helping the heart pump blood. Hence, it serves dual purposes, respiratory and cardiac support. The span a patient remains on ECMO can widely vary. It depends on several factors, including the underlying condition, the patient's overall health and response to the treatment. ECMO is typically viewed as a temporary measure with the goal to shift the patient off ECMO once their heart and lungs recuperate. There are three main types of ECMO, veno-arterial or VA ECMO, veno-venous or VV ECMO, and veno-arterial venous or VAV ECMO. VA ECMO withdraws blood from a large vein and returns it to the arterial system, providing both respiratory and cardiac support. VV ECMO is primarily used for respiratory support, withdrawing blood from and returning it to the same vein. VAV ECMO is a blend of VA and VV ECMO, offering both respiratory and cardiac support. Survival rates on ECMO can fluctuate based on the underlying condition and patient factors. ECMO is often the final resort when other treatment options have failed. Survival rates are generally more favorable for patients with reversible conditions who respond well to ECMO. However, ECMO is not without its risks. It is considered a high-risk procedure. Complications can include bleeding, infection, clot formation, and issues related to the insertion of the cannulas or tubes used in the procedure. The severity of the underlying illness also contributes to the overall risk. ECMO is a complex and resource-intensive therapy, typically reserved for critically ill patients in specialized healthcare settings. The decision to use ECMO is made on a case-by-case -case basis, taking into consideration the patient's specific medical condition and overall prognosis. So, in a nutshell, ECMO is a life-saving technique providing both cardiac and respiratory support to patients who desperately need it. It is a testament to the advances in medical technology and the relentless efforts of healthcare professionals to save lives.